demonstrate to you uh, the steps one has to follow or uh, what you must do in order to effectively uh, mail merge in Microsoft Office Publisher. So without further ado, let's get started. Now the first step is that you need to uh, design, make a design of the certificate just like you're seeing mine on the screen. Um, I designed a certificate for the ITAO, uh, the ICT Teachers Association of Uganda and uh, it's just a sample certificate just to help during this tutorial. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to, uh, assuming the certificate has to be sent to many participants, many people who came from different schools around the country to attend the annual um, capacity development workshop. So after that, we have to send a certificate, no, we have to give each person a certificate, but the certificate has to be of the same design, but with different information of the different folders of the certificate. Now let's get started. Now when you look at my certificate right here on the screen, you will see that uh, right here there is this text which says names. This is uh, just a word, a sample word that I've just written to remind me that there has to be uh, information of an individual place in that particular location and this information will have to be the name of the participant, the person who attended the workshop. So let's get started. Now the first thing you do is you go up here, then you click tools and then you slide the cursor, then you select mailings and catalogs, slide the cursor again, then you go to mail match. This is what we are looking for. So this is what you will see. You will see the screen uh, that um, on the left hand side here, the wizard will show up. It is the wizard that will take you through the steps you need to follow to merge uh, this publication. So here it gives you a short description uh, of how mail merge works. We'll take a time to read that. Uh, we shall come here, we shall focus on this area. We are, we are saying create recipient list. Now, we need to have a recipient list. The names of people who are going to get this certificate have to be typed and uh, saved somewhere. So it can manually be typed uh, in, pub, uh, in publisher or if you had it typed somewhere in uh, Office Outlook or if you also had it uh, typed somewhere like in Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel um, any application that lets you create uh, information in a table. So um, when you select this um, radio button which says use an existing list, that means you are going to browse for a file that you created earlier using a different application apart from the publisher. When you select this uh, radio button, that means you are going to browse and locate that file where you uh, that you created uh, in office outlook and uh, in this case we are going to type a new list in microsoft office publisher so we must come and then you click uh, this radio button like that then you click next so when you click next you will see uh, a pop-up window and that one there now it is this window that you can put the details of the recipients of the letter. So uh, you can see the title of the recipient. I can there, uh, therefore now start writing the names like uh, Mr. Sorry. Then I can go ahead. The first name of the person is uh, Oruru. Then the last name uh, Aaron Steven. Then when I want to add another person I will just come and say new entry then the title is also Mr. Uh, Dumba Steven next I will click new entry then I will say Mrs. Uh, Maloney uh, Rachel 
new entry. I will say Mr. Uh, Mukalele Rogers. Then new entry. Then I will say Mrs. Nandrudu. Aisha. Sorry, Aisha is not correct. So I can correct that. Then uh, new entry again. Um, let me have a like about ten because I have five already. Let me add five more names. Um, then I can say Mr. Elwangi Alan. Then also I can say this is. Nama Romi Betty Then also you can add another one you can say Mr. Opoi Frederick Then how many do I have? Six, seven, eight, two more Mrs. Namome Gladius, then finally, Mr. Othiano Agri. So, what I've just done is that I've typed the recipients list, the names of these people who are going to receive, get a copy, uh, each are going to get a copy of this uh, certificate. So, I'll go ahead and click OK. Now, once I click OK, another uh, uh, window will pop up. Now, this window will ask you to save the address list. The names of the, uh, the recipients you have just typed also have to be saved somewhere. So, it asks you to do that. So, you can save it. Any location, I'm going, in this case, I'm going to choose my desktop. I'll click that, then I'll come, and then type a file name for that. Then I'll come and say uh, recipients, yeah, something like that. And then I'll come and then three is not correct. Then I'll come and say save. So I have saved it once I save it. Um, it brings for me again another dialog box. Now in this dialog box, you can also select uh, make your final decision now. Um, when you see the sticks, you can decide who among the people you, are, you have listed might not get the certificate as per now because there might be instances where you might say if you have paid for the certificate, then you can be able to get the certificate. But if you have not yet paid, that means your certificate will not be printed. So assuming, let's assume that uh, Aisha did not pay for the certificate. So we shall come and uncheck this checkbox like that. So that means Aisha has been removed from the recipient's list. Okay, she's, she's there in the recipient's list, but she has just been... Uh, prevented from receiving a copy of this letter until Aisha pays then she shall come again and then print her certificate so Aisha is not going to get the certificate so we shall come and then click OK now once we click OK we shall have uh, the column headings of our uh, table, the recipient's table we created. So the column headings are on the left hand side here. So we are currently now in step number two of the merging process, but the last process is now uh, creating a merge uh, publication. Now what we are going to do is that this is the point where the names are going to be placed. So we can come and then highlight that 
sample text we placed there. And then we can come and then start clicking the fields that we want to insert in that particular location. So we can come and click title. So when you click title, you see something that uh, a description that is saying title with a chevron surrounding it. So the title that means the Mr. or Mrs. is going to be placed in that particular location. Then you can also come and then say first name after the Mr. is there. A space has to be left. Then the first name placed there. Then again you can space. Press the space bar on your keyboard. Then you can also place last name like that. So these are only three fields that we used while creating our recipients uh, list. So we are almost done. You see we have inserted those fields uh, I'm waiting for the actual names to be replaced with whatever you are seeing currently. So what we are going to do is that um, we are almost done. We shall click create merge publications like that. So when you say create merge publications, um, we can say You, you can preview it before even you go ahead and print. You can preview it. Click a print preview like that. So when you click a print preview, you will see something like this. That gives you around but this case. Uh, let's first go back a bit. Um, so before you, you go to the print preview, you can come and then preview the recipients right here so you see uh, this is recipient number one so it is Mr. O. Aaron Steven recipient number two is Mr. Dumba Steven recipient number three is Mrs. Malomi Rachel recipient number four is Mr. Mukalele Rogers recipient number four, six is Mr. Y. Alan now you can realize that number five is not there because we excluded Aisha because she has not yet cleared, she has not yet paid for the certificate. So her certificate is not going to be printed until she pays. So when you click next, number six is that. Then number seven, which is number of Mibeti. Number eight is Mr. Apoy Frederick. Then uh, Mrs. Namome Gladys. Then Mr. Ophiano Agu. So you can go ahead and then order for the certificates to be printed. So what you can do is that uh, you come to print right here because you are now going to send it to the printer. So you come to print. So when you come to print, you again have some print settings like you are seeing here. Now when you checked on my previous print preview, you see that the the way the paper was appearing was like it wasn't having there wasn't sense in it. Now the first thing is here we're going to select a printer name. In this case, I'm going to select uh, uh, print uh, Microsoft uh, Office Print PDF. Yes, let's select that. Then uh, the size we're going to change it from letter maybe A4. So when you change it to F4 immediately, you will see that my page size is now going to change and then I'm going to see the whole thing there like I'm seeing now. Then number of copies, I just want one copy for each certificate. Then page range, uh, make it uh, all entries like that. Then uh, you can say print. So since I said print to uh, PDF, when you have a printer and you order it to print, the printer will just begin printing the copies. But since I've just said uh, print it, uh, uh, send it, send the print out, uh, save it as uh, print uh, to PDF, that's why I am prompted to save it with the file name. So I'm going to save it still on the desktop, and then I will just say certificate. So we it safe. Then the official 
that is now printing my publication. So it is saved on the desktop. So you can go back to the desktop and then look for it. So I have it here. So I'm going to open it. Double click that. Then it opens using the default. So you see, this is the first person certificate. This is for Aaron Steven. Scroll down. Uh, for Tumba Steven, is there. For Malong Rachel, is there. Mokale Rogers is there. Mrs. Tainwai Alan is there. Mrs. Namo Romibeti is there. Opoi Fabric is there. Mrs. Namo Gladys is there. Mokiano Agri is there. So, thanks very much for watching. See you later.